time. time. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Jan. And I am Peter. It's okay, Peter. You don't need to shout. The microphone can hear you. But it's so far away. It can hear that too. Today, we're going to show our friends. That's you guys. How not to be a dickhead on the internet. The internet is an amazing place. Uh, Peter, you're facing the wrong way. Okay, I can, do, I can do this. The internet is an amazing place. But the internet can sometimes be a nasty place too. Uh, yes, nasty. Now, while hate speech may sound like the name of a hot new rap group, it is a serious issue. Yeah, serious. Very serious. Peter, are you going to keep echoing everything I say? This is what's written on the audio cue. It is important that we embrace digital diversity and make sure that the internet is a fun place for everyone to enjoy. Oh, but Jan, I'm digitally diverse. Oh. I have a Motorola phone, this Game Boy, and also this iMac PC. <laughs> oh no, Peter. Digitally diverse, as in all cultures and sexualities being nice to each other online. You know, sometimes people can get a little bit frustrated with all the different voices screaming over each other on the World Wide Web. So, here are some tips and tricks to help you demolish hate speech. Call them out! Make sure you don't also attack people in the process. Hate only breeds more hate. You can also report instances where people have been engaging in hate speech on those websites or platforms you visit. Make sure you applaud people and let them know when they're doing good things to combat hate speech online. There's nothing like a good pat on the back when you're doing a good job. Good job, Jan. Thank you, Peter. You can also use some new tracking software to find out where people live and set their homes ablaze. Peter, you can't do that. Well, I... No. I... no. So, what you can do, however, is learn. Research and engage with other cultures or identities that you don't know much about. Visit new communities and share your learnings with your network to promote tolerance and understanding. So go on, visit Chinese New Year, head to a mosque, or eat all of your migarang, and make sure you do not bring disgrace and shame upon your family! <laughs> Isn't that a little, you know, personal? Shut up, Peter. Okay. The internet is a crazy place, but if you follow these guidelines, you too can have a super breezy trip on the information superhighway. It's important in your digital travels that you speak up against hate speech and support diversity. So next time when you're online, make sure you keep your filthy opinions to yourself. That's all for this week. Now next week we'll be back to talk about the dark web, cesspool or frontier economy. That reminds me, Jan, we should check the mail. Bye for now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, specifically drugs. There's drugs no, coming in the mail. I